morning. Welcome back to the Hicksworks channel. Back down here at the beautiful Outer Banks, Duck, North Carolina. And uh, starting off the morning, we're gonna be fishing with my big pole. Brought my 10 foot pole this time. Got a slider rig. A little half piece of mullet on there. That's for something bigger. Hopefully a drum still hanging out in the surf. And then I've got my bottom rig right here and all I'm doing is taking a little piece of shrimp. A little piece of shrimp. And I'm just gonna put that on there. Camera right here. All right, we're just gonna take this piece and just put it in half. Just a nice little chunk on there. These are size six hooks. I got a two ounce weight on there today because it's a little bit rougher than it was yesterday. There we go. All right, so those are my two rigs. Up here, back by my setup, what I've got is I've got my uh, Clark Spoon casting jig up here. So if we see anything jumping, I'll be coming up here and I'll be grabbing this rod. I just sit this rod right back here. I don't use it at all for a bottom rig, so I'm not messing around. All right, the other thing when you're down here, reading the beach isn't that hard, but you'll see there are all these kind of divots in the beach. All right. What I'm looking to do is I'm looking to set up right in the middle of one of these divots because you got to figure these humps that go up. Those humps are still riding out in the ocean. All right. Just right past here, there's one drop off. So I'm going to throw my little rod right here, just in the breakers. Just in the breakers. That's where the uh, drop off is. And that's where the little fish kind of come in, congregate and feed. And I'm going to throw my bigger one with my slider rig and my three ounce weight. All right, I'm gonna throw this piece as far out as I can. And the idea is I wanna get it just on this side of the bar, the sandbar, or on the other side if I can. I don't know if I can throw it out that far. I saw some guys walking out there yesterday. It's pretty far, but there's a nice little drop off on the other side of that other sandbar. So we're trying to get the big rig out there, trying to get the small rig in short, catch some small fish on this one. Maybe a rogue drum will come through and get this one. But anyways, fingers crossed we catch some fish today. Thanks again for tuning in. If you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe. Let's catch some fish. For. These are little whiting, little mullet, right off the port, or right off the beach. Like I'm telling you, man, these are right in the breaker. I didn't even cast that thing that far. Looked like it just hit the breaker. But these fish are coming up. Pretty little whiting. I mean, that's as white as they get, but that's too small. But that's right where they are, right there in the breaker. So, little piece of shrimp, size six hook. Keep you busy all day long. Hope we get some on the big rig here. Tight lines. Don't forget to subscribe. Sweet. 
First cast of the day. Pulled up a little spot. I was just telling Bobby I forgot the rest of the shrimp. We got a new bag of shrimp, but this spot is gonna be great bait. I don't know if I'm gonna throw them whole on the big line or we'll start slicing them up a little bit and putting uh, fillets on the little line, but a little spot is free bait right there. That's great. Looking for some smushy sand here. I'm out of shrimp. So I'm gonna dig up my own bait here. Looking for sand fleas, but I'm feeling for the softer sand. Because that usually kind of shows where they are. They like the soft stuff. Smushy. Some mushy in here. There we go. Let's see what we got over here. Felt a nice soft spot earlier. I didn't see him any sand fleas this morning. It's crazy. Right size, nickel size, nickel or a dime. I like nickels. One, put them in the old pocket. Let's go here. Oh, two more in here. One, two, three. Oh, here's a good, good, good mess of them. One, two, three. There, I found another one. Four, five, six. Boom, I got my bait. Seven. Lucky seven. Look at that. Those guys are my guys right there. Those are gonna be some winners. So I got my spot. Got my spot that I'm gonna use for bait. And I've got these sand fleas. We're in business. Life's turning out to be pretty good right now. Beautiful sunrise. Beautiful ocean out here. Got some free bait. Well, that spot I rigged up, that was a little bit cost me a bottom rig and some shrimp but once you get that spot that's good bait right there and then these sand fleas man that's north carolina gold i'll tell you that north carolina gold any bites Let's set back up over here i'll show you here we go this is how you rig up your sand flea. Get a good shot here. All right. Sure. So here's your sand flea. On the bottom here. All right. That's what you got. What we're looking at, I always look at, there's this point, and that point's right to the section you're going in. But you want to go in this little hole right here between these two legs and out the top. It's kind of like the head. I think those are the eyes. Like so. We're taking it here. Putting it right in that little crevice. 
crevasse. Boom, I've got it. All right. These guys in the cooler. Cut it up. I'm gonna give it some chunks. I'm gonna cut the tail off right back here. I'm throwing that on a big rig. And these ones I'm just gonna cut here. One, two, three. Just laying down the back like this. Mm. And then I got the chunks for bait for my small rig. These are my little small rig pieces right here. It's going on the rig. Well, I didn't have enough time to put my camera on, but that little piece of spot just caught me this little blue. I want a bigger one. I'm putting this guy back. Little baby blue. Still want them a little bit bigger. Porpers are popping. Saw a couple jumps. So I've got my uh, Clark Spoon casting jig here. We're gonna try to cast out and see if we can't see more jumps. Let's we'll see if we can't get a fish here on the spoon. Got birds looking at my lure. I don't really want to hit one of those dolphins. This thing ate a whole spot. Dag on it.
another one. Oh my goodness, I'm telling you, the water just warmed up like five degrees and they're just going crazy. Everyone on the beach is catching them right now. I think next week it's gonna be hot. dark but we stuck like 10 in the last like 30 minutes i wasn't going to turn the camera on but it, it was just so incredible we had to do it i mean sometimes you're down here and it just turns on we slow there we go I mean, the sky out here is wonderful. It's just beautiful. Fishing out here in July, it's beautiful. I mean, they say fishing patience is a virtue, but we had to be pretty patient all week long. It was very slow, very slow. Five days of nothing, a couple here, a couple there. And then all of a sudden it just blows up in just like 30 minutes. So you just gotta be patient. Look at that, and Bobby's got one. Oh my gosh, is he on? Got him? I don't think so. That was a nice whack though. I think I lost my favorite. <laughs> oh, I had to end it with one more. All right, that's it. Thanks again for tuning in. That was a night of mullet bite right there. The mullet night bite. Mm. 
that's just fun. I mean, we know keepers, throwing them all back, let them all get bigger so you guys can go catch them next week. Good luck. Tight line. All right, guys. Well, that wraps it up. Caught a lot of fish this week. Bunch of mullet. Had some nights and mornings when they were just hitting every single cast. Nothing sizable, but that's all right. Nothing to cook because when I had to eat some food and I got a hanker for fish, I was going to Duck Deli for their fish sandwiches or I was going to the dockside surf and uh, duck and getting one uh, the crab dip and whatever fish was looking nice that night. So thanks again for tuning in. Coming down here to the Outer Banks is one of the best things in the world. The fishing is phenomenal and some days are slow, but that's fishing. That's why they call it fishing, not catching. So, you know, next time you come down here, make sure to throw in your lines, try it out, have a great time. And uh, fingers crossed, you guys catch some fish too. I'll see you guys down here. Thanks to all the people that I met down here. Some wonderful people and some wonderful kids just running around here having a great time. But, you know, when it's nighttime and the week's over, sometimes you just got to call it quits. So thanks again for tuning in. If you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe.